From the Washington Post, this past week, the Obama administration urged a federal judge to dismiss a lawsuit over its plan to assassinate a U.S. citizen overseas, saying that the case would reveal state secrets. The U.S.-born citizen, Anwar al is a cleric now believed to be in Yemen. Federal authorities claim that he's leading a branch of al-Qaeda there. Civil liberties groups sued the U.S. government on behalf of al father, arguing that the CIA and the Joint Special Operations Command's placement of al on a capture or kill list of suspected terrorists outside of a war zone and absent an imminent threat amounted to an extrajudicial execution order against a U.S. citizen. They asked a U.S. district court in Washington to block the targeting. In response, Justice Department spokesman Matthew Miller said that the groups are asking, quote, a court to take the unprecedented step of intervening in an ongoing military action to direct the president how to manage that action, all on behalf of a leader of a foreign terrorist organization. In a statement, lawyers for Nasser al condemned the government's request to dismiss the case without debating its merits, saying that judicial review of the pursuit of targets far from the battlefield of Afghanistan is vital. The American Civil Liberties Union and Center for Constitutional Rights said, quote, The idea that courts should have no role whatsoever in determining the criteria by which the executive branch can kill its own citizens is unacceptable in a democracy. In matters of life and death, no executive should have a blank check.